group of casting directors came over to my school and they looked at the kids and sort of called me and asked me to cast for this movie that they're thinking of doing. That's sort of when it all started rolling. And then I got projects and I got into the music industry from that. They knew the film team, they knew that they were going to be dealing with kids and you sort of had a lot of reading sessions and a lot of workshop sessions before. So you actually got really comfortable with the movie director and it became really natural. I never actually saw the two things separate. I, I see them as just different channels of storytelling, different channels of creativity, and you sort of have to put your heart out when you're writing songs and when you're acting. You know, you're acting a character that's actually also part of yourself, and if you can't relate to a character, you probably shouldn't play it. You always have strange ones here and there, um, and then they comment on, I saw you here, and I was staring at you, or things like that. I mean, when you read the comments, you have to kind of mentally prepare yourself for either really good things that would, you know, make you really happy, or critics that would just make you upset. Fans can be very constructive also in their messages, so I do take that um, into account, and I apply that in my everyday life. I've really been seeing um, a lot more singer-songwriters come out with sort of more distinct styles, more niche styles that maybe wouldn't have been as successful if it had come out like maybe 10 years ago. Because Indonesians, I think in general, we love pop ballads or the traditional dangdut, for example. Only the last few years were we able to see a wider, wider range of pop music. Kau datang dengan sederhana, sederhana. Satu bintang di langit. Sometimes the music that I write can go a bit like folk music. Sometimes it has a bit of R&B elements as well. But my next album will primarily be sort of pop urban acoustic. Even if I were to incorporate sort of contemporary styles, I'm now very like adamant that you still have to have the sort of the, the raw aspect of like having a, an acoustic guitar there. Currently, I'm working on my third album, as I said, so it's really exciting, not only because the sound is going to be a bit different, but I think it's the first time that I would feel very authentic about the kind of music that that album would have to offer. I'm also going to be doing something else on the side, English songs that I would write, because I, I do have a tendency to write songs in English, so that's what I think my fans should look forward to. That's it from me, Maudie Ayuda. Thank you for watching The MTV Show.